have some interesting new information that has been put out here released April 25th in the Journal of Geophysical Research dealing with the Earth and its surface. We've seen a lot of things going on here as of late with the West Coast. We've seen an uptick in earthquake activity across the globe as a whole, as well as an uptick in volcanic activity. Eruptions. We've also seen an underwater eruption take place off the coast of Oregon, right there on that plate boundary of the Juan de Fuca. Now, we also just witnessed a large earthquake swarm break loose in the same area. Juan de Fuca plate, the main cut in that plate, seeing a lot of activity. Now, as that's going on, the normal smaller swarms in Southern California have died out. That means that pressure is building. And what you're looking at here is a close-up of these fault lines, the boundaries, and the two main plates here that are grinding against one another when it comes to Southern California and the Baja California area. This is the area which they believe has the potential to trigger a tsunami from a magnitude 7.9 or 8 in this area. Now, as you can see here, these western transverse transverse ranges up here sit right north of LA on the coast. You have all of this underwater out here, this range. Okay? What's happening? is the Pacific, as you can see, is moving northwest away from California once it clears this hurdle. But all the stress is building on this range. At the same time, North America, that plate coming down, grinding. So what it's doing is off the coast here, right in this area where you see all of this, they're saying all the way out to 120 miles off the coast, the ocean floor is getting twisted. It's getting chewed up and it's like a log jam, they say, that's taking place here because of these, these two plates grinding off of one another. Now, I just talked about energy building up. What they've done is they've just gone down and mapped the sea floor of this area. And they're kind of astonished to see new ridges in ranges forming in this area, stacking up, building up on the ocean floor that were not there before, which means there is a lot of tension mounting in this area. And they say it's just going to take one big slip or jolt to set all of this into motion. Now, if this happens off the coast, people can still, you know, fill this on mainland. But what this will do is send their way a massive wall of water. And they're warning that L.A., San Diego are the two cities that are in the target zone for a future tsunami. Now, the timing of everything. San Andreas Fault, the movie coming out. It's no secret San Andreas is going to be popping at some point. All we can hope is that it's not as bad as everyone has ever predicted and that people are prepared and that they have a plan. That San Andreas snakes about 800 miles or 1,300 kilometers from Mendocino in the northern part of California all the way down to the Salton Sea in the southern part, part of the state there. And, of course, the San Andreas getting most of the attention. But these faults around it are just as important, this network of faults that lurk just off California's coast. And... They're there because these huge chunks of Earth's crust are being smashed, twisted, and grinded as these plates are sliding in both those directions. Now, also, you have that Pacific plate running up toward the Juan de Fuca. That's right where it's going to run into, and that's where we're seeing activity right now. So, all of these plates interconnected. Um, something to definitely keep an eye on. There's a lot more information here. I'll leave a link in the description box talking about... Um, more of the science behind this and what they found and how this fault rupture is going to happen. It's not a question of if, but when. 
So, as I come across more, I'll keep you guys posted. Some interesting information I figured everyone needs to see. This has been Dabu7.